Hi, in this video, I would like to give you an overview of the AMS Ocean dashboard. Uh, so once you've logged into your account under your AMS Ocean dashboard, the first thing you will see is the date range. Uh, so you can select any date range that works for you. You can select last month, you can select two weeks, you can select day state. It's completely up to you. Um, and then the next thing you can do here is that you can also filter out a specific bill of lading number and then you can indicate if it's a house or master. You can also filter out by specific statuses or events. So if you just want to see, for example, accepted ones, you can check the accepted box and then click search. And then um, now it will only show you the accepted house bills that you have on your dashboard for that specific date range. As you can see here, uh, I'm just going to go back to my search results. And the other things you will see are these boxes. So these boxes, um, in a moment, you will see different statuses. Uh, so for example, you will see how many drafts you have. Um, so the drafts would mean you've created them, but you haven't sent it to CBP. Then you will see how many have been sent to CBP. You will also see how many have been rejected by CBP, how many have been accepted by CBP. You will also see if there are any holds then you will see them here and then you will be able to see how many shipments have been released if you would like to create your ams ocean manually you can click this button here to create it manually or if you would like to upload your file you can upload your csv excel file as well uh, the other thing you can do is if you'd like to download this table as a report, you can do that as well. So you can select the house bills that you would like to see in your report. And then what you can do is click on the download option here and you can download it to CSV, Excel or JSON format files. And then once you're ready to send your house bills, you can go ahead and select them and then click send to send it to CBP. If you'd like to cancel any of them, you can mark them as cancel and send it to CBP as cancel. The other things you can do on this table is uh, to use these filters. So you can also use these filters. So for example, you can start typing the numbers and you will see all the house bills that contain these numbers. Uh, you can also filter out by status here last event and so on. You also have the flexibility in terms of what kind of columns you would like to see. So if you don't want to see any of the columns, you can uncheck them or if you would like to add them to your table, you can check them and they will appear in your table. You could also uh, drag and drop any of the columns. So for example, if you'd like to drag this released column here you can do it as well so you do have that flexibility um, so that's all for this video hopefully you found it useful and thanks very much for watching